Hello, gentle viewers. Do not adjust your computer screens. This is Out of the Park Baseball 19, but I'm not playing as the Philadelphia Phillies. I'm playing as the Toronto Blue Jays. In the previous season, we continued our run of mediocrity in Philadelphia, and I got fired. And to be honest, I kind of would have fired me too. And I talked to myself, and I thought, who do I really want to be? What team do I want to take over and helm to a new era of greatness? And I chose the Phillies, or the Blue Jays. God, I have Phillies on the brain. I picked them mostly for one number, 57 and 105, which should give me the number one overall draft pick. And there's actually a fair bit of hope in this team, too. We've got Tim Raines, who was frankly rushed to the major leagues and kind of sucked. I don't know why they called him up so soon. In fact, I'm almost certainly going to send him back to the minors. Um... There's not a lot of talent on this team, so it's going to be about... Hey, it's Bobby Tolan. Um, it's going to be about us leveraging the talent we do have and getting the most we can while recognizing that this team is probably going to take us a good uh, six to seven season or three to four seasons to be competitive. That's with us spending aggressively in free agency, and I don't think we're going to be nearly as aggressive as I was with the Phillies. The Phillies were a team that constantly seemed to me like they're one or two players away from the big time. This team is not. It's got a few parts who might be part of the next great Phillies team. And it's got a respectable rotation. So that counts for something. But we're going to rebuild this team. We're going to make it awesome. Salary arbitration. Um, yes, I do want all the draft picks. Uh, Ken McMullen was one of the rare good players on the team. He's a really good third baseman, too. Can I get you to come back for one season? Oh, wow, I have no money. I have no money. Why don't I have money? <sighs> we need to shed payroll and fast. This is going to be bad. I had no idea we were that much in the hole. Oh, it's kind of apropos. The Blue Jays spent pretty damn heavily and got bit in the ass for it. Now, I'm in the same boat. Um, okay, let's start. Chris Flothy wants 136 grand. Uh, good stuff, good control. Overall, the kind of pitcher I think. Oh, that's right. This is a year off the expansion team. Oh, they actually, they've actually already made offers to some of these players. Okay. That's fine. We can do better. I'm going to go ahead and pull your offer. I don't think it's going to matter because the AI just made a bunch of offers. No, Rich Coggins is garbage. I would not pay him that much money. William O'Connor, equally garbage. Um, let's get some new coaches, because I probably need some. I really just need an advanced, I just really need an advanced GM. Or an assistant GM. Who do I want to bring with me? I want someone who's neutral, in terms of prospects versus... Uh, I don't want someone who heavily favors stuff. I like the idea of actually bringing in Ricky Wilson, but let's check by reputation. Um, Jose Flores, I think he's a good pick to be the assistant GM. He's doesn't really favor anything hardcore. 
Um, and I think that's a good choice. What does my scout do? Or my, yeah, my scout. What are his tendencies? Why aren't you telling me his tendencies? Oh, that entire time, was that the GM? And not the scout deciding that? Oh. I'll just extend the minor league hitters. I got job security. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So that's some salary decisions. I need to take a look at the contract offers you've made. Because some of these are going to get pulled. It looks like you mostly made a bunch of one-year deals. I'm not super unhappy with that idea. All right. So let's go ahead and sim up to the arbitration hearings. And a bunch of people signed extensions, including some of the people... God damn it, even the people I non-tendered you signed. Like, seriously, what the shit, mate? <sighs> no, no. Are any of these guys interesting? Nope. Let's look at our minor leagues, actually. Oh, wow, really? Damn, we are a long way away. Holy shit, are we a ways away. I don't want to ruin Tim Raines. I don't think he's ready for the majors. I'm going to send Tim Raines back to the minors. And we'll just go from there. Didn't Bill Singer play for me in Philly? No, I guess he didn't. Okay. I got my new GM. Yeah, that was a total brain fart on me. I didn't realize that the scout would value things according to where the GM valued them. That's why our previous GM was like, oh my god, pants for OBP. And that's why the scout was like, you want OBP? I'll find you OBP. That makes total sense now, by the way. Um, I would like to see the the news from last season. I want to see who won the different awards. Uh, Johnny Bench got a gold glove for the Phillies. Did we get anybody? No. Uh, Rick Manning is a shortstop bullshit. Rick Manning played center field in real life. I don't remember him ever playing shortstop. Damn, he's actually been pretty good, though. Maybe he should have played shortstop. Um, mm -mm -mm. Dave LaRoche got a few votes. That's cool. Uh, no one on my team. I bet Mike Schmidt. Damn it, Daryl Evans. Would you please let Mike Schmidt have it? Every year you win the freaking Silver Slugger. Because you're a dick. Um, mm-hmm. I don't have any very good Phillies. Uh, Yogi Berra. Okay. Steve Carlton got quite a few votes. Yeah, Keith Hernandez. Okay. Whatever, mate. I bet every one of them denied arbitration, which is smart on their part. Okay. Free agency. All right. I have no money to play with in free agency. Absolutely not. Is my offer? Is my owner just a tightwad? He likes saving money. Why is my why is my budget so high? Okay, there are quite a few older players here that just aren't worth it. Alright. So we're not going to be building a team through free agency because I literally have no budget. 
Um, I'm being budgeted zero dollars for this season. So you're going to have to accept the fact we're probably going to suck this year. Let's go up to the Hall of Fame voting. Yeah, we're, we're going to have an interesting season. It's probably not going to be a very good one. But Tim Raines is a franchise cornerstone. I would never call him up at the age of 18. And I just hope for our sake that Ooh, we get a, a, some good players to pick from. We got Ryan Sandberg, Chili Davis, George Bell, Tony Phillips, Dave Steeb, Gary Reyes, Lloyd Mosby, Mike Witt, Cal Ripken, Charlie Lay. Wow. Why do we dislike Cal Ripken so much? Weird. One of this just is Kyle Ripken. It should be Kyle Ripken Jr. Hmm. Okay, there's something weird going on here. We're, like, my scout's taking, like, a big dump on every good player. What the hell is going on? Maybe things will get straightened out. It might just be that OS hasn't had a chance to run players since I've, um... Since I've become the manager. Okay, definitely Ernie Banks. Definitely Yogi Bear. Definitely Ken Boyer. Dom Buford, no. Jim Bunning, no. Uh, maybe actually Jim Bunning, no. He's a little... Yeah, whatever. Dean Chance, no. Rocky Colavito, no. Eddie Fisher, no. Kurt Flood, I'll vote for him purely because I know what he did in real life. Jim Fergosi, definitely not. No Mudcat Grant, no Harvey Keen. Juan Marichal? I mean, if I'm going to say the freaking Jim Bunnings Hall of Famer, i got to say Juan Marichal is. Tony Oliva, no. Veda Pinson? Maybe. For center fielder, he's pretty below the standard, so. Hoy Wilhelm, yes. Warren Spawn, definitely. Let's get his ass in the Hall of Fame. There we go. This is probably going to be a not very interesting episode, for which I apologize, but there's just not much we can do. There's all there's really nothing we can do. We're just gonna have to kind of suck it up for a couple of seasons and just build how we can. All right, so for Wilbur Wood, you would give me a better first baseman. I want more than this. I will happily trade Wilbur Wood because he's worth a shit ton of money. I want prospects. I want Dave Stewart. Why are you saying Dave Stewart's a reliever? Dave Stewart in real life was a starter. What would I have to throw in to get Dave Stewart? Ron Hodges is a pretty good catcher. But he's not likely to be around for the next Toronto team. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna ask you to throw someone else in. Like Mickey Hatcher, maybe. Oh, you were drafted last year, right? Rick Honeycutt. Can I get you to throw in one more player? Brad Golden, maybe. One more player? Philip Canucci plays a lot of different positions, so I'm willing to take a shot with him. Can I throw in anyone else? No, okay. This is a really good deal. Because we're rebuilding. We're getting 
a couple of top prospects in Stewart and Honeycutt, um, I want you to eat 100% of his salary, too, just because I can. Um, yeah, this is, it's a no-brainer. Make the deal. I know fans are kind of pissy about losing Wilbur Wood. You're going to have to deal with it. Because I need money if we're going to make any changes. <laughs> yeah, I've got a negative projected balance, don't I? Yeah, we got some bad contracts. Hopefully those will go away soon. Um, Toronto's going to be the land of opportunity. I'm going to... I'm going to physically abuse the Rule 5 draft. I'm going to take advantage. We can offer opportunities. Um, oh, whoops. I did actually want you to be on the roster. And Ronnie Collins, you can go down to AAA for now. Why not? Uh, oh, snap. I was right. Bobby Bonds, he opted out. And he went to the Dodgers. I made the right call keeping Cruz for them. Okay, first year draft. Who do we love? We really love Chili Davis. We're like crazy in love with Chili Davis. Oh, that's right. He was a catcher, wasn't he? Chili Davis would be a pretty damn solid pick. Okay, we've changed our opinion about Cal Ripken. I think that's a more reasonable one. Chili Davis was pretty damn solid in real life. Uh, where are we seeing Tim Raines is playing eventually? Tim Raines is a middle infielder at this point in his career. So I see no reason we shouldn't draft Chili Davis. Go for the home run. Um, Bob Horner does have the benefit that he's almost ready right now. Oh, shit. He is really good. Oh, Junction City, Kansas. I went to get my PhD not far from there. Um. Ooh. Tom Bronanski. Another good pick, but. I am really struggling with why... So if we were trying to be competitive this year, I would take Bob Horner. And I wouldn't hesitate. Oh, I loves him too. Um, but here's the difference. I'm not going to be competitive for a long time. I'd rather take Chili Davis. I mean, I know he's not an amazing center fielder, but he's... A pretty damn good catcher. I'm going to take Chili Davis. I know we've got a hit on this pick. And I know there's actual Hall of Famers in this lineup. But he's just... I think he's just the best choice. Let's auto pick to I come up again. Okay, The big names are gone already. But we can still make this work. We can still get another good player or two. Mark Colley is an interesting choice. And his success depends entirely on his ability to hit gap power. Hmm. Ed Hearn, no. Las Philicans, okay, maybe. Good center fielder, decent offensive tools. I'm going to go ahead and, and draft Les here.
All right. At th- and with a third round draft pick, I actually think I can afford to take Mark Colley. Just on the off chance he turns out to be pretty good. Uh, Mike Morgan. He's an interesting pitcher, but I mean, he's not like... I mean, he's one of the best pitchers we're likely to get, so I think I will go ahead and draft you. Uh, Just because there's like almost literally nothing else we can grab. He's going to draw walks and nothing else. That's not good enough. Again, what what is it with these teams? Why am I always getting these people who are like, we must have people that draw all the walks? Flores actually favors average over OVP. I keep missing it. I keep, yeah, scout. And your scouting preference is neutral. I don't know why you're so obsessed with on-base percentage. I mean, one really good tool is better than no tools, but, you know. I'm going to go ahead and let's scan them. Who's, like, the best contact of the players remaining? Dan Beardello, sure. Mm, yeah, Camelo Castillo, sure. Let's look at pitching. Uh, Mike Cullen will never throw a strike, but his stuff is so good, I can maybe find him being a reliever. I'm just going to go ahead and complete the draft. Negotiate with my draftees. I'm just going to offer people whatever they asked for. Mike Morgan wants a shit ton of money. I'm not convinced he's worth it. He's an interesting pitcher, but he's not... Oh... It's still my only way to acquire extra players right now, so I think I will go ahead and just offer him what he wants. Ah, Dan here's an impossible player. I'm not spending four hundred grand on you. No, sir. Okay, rule five draft. I want all pitches. I want all players. Okay. Is there anybody worth taking? Mike Champion is a really good shortstop. Like, really, really good. Who's not a very good hitter. Who do we have a shortstop right now? We don't have a shortstop. I'll go ahead and take Mike Champion. Mike Caldwell. Sure, we need all the players we can get right now. John Allman has discipline and nothing else. Uh, meh. I could claim Dwayne Taggart, but he's not that great. Mark Williams is a good outfielder, and for that I will take him. All right.
I will complete my draft now. This is all about opportunity. I mean, it's pretty obvious that Tim Raines is pretty damn sweet. I just, I mean, I guess I only give him a, a couple hundred at bats, but I want him to build up. Uh, how is he in the outfield in this game? Eh, not so good. Okay. Yeah, Tim Raines is going to be a big part of this team. He's just not ready yet. Uh, Rick Honeycutt might be. Yeah, I need starters. Rick Honeycutt, you're being drafted as a starter. Alright. Let's start raiding the dumpster. We need cheap play cheap players. Really cheap players. I have money for extensions, but none for free agents. That's delightful. Jim Bibby. Welcome aboard. You won't even give me a 75 grand salary. How about just a minor league contract? Alright, let's keep going. My Corkins, minor league deal. Uh, sure, Hal McRae, welcome aboard. Offers are being made. They're not thrilling offers, but we just need a couple of seasons of just, like, getting decent depth, and then we can talk about what to do with the with our team. Jim Bibby sign. That's pretty cool. Warren Spawn made the Hall of Fame. Juan Merrick Hall came pretty close. Okay. And we got Hal McRae, too. And I think they're both going to get jobs. Oh, God. Um. Yeah, Jim Bibby is definitely getting a spot in the rotation. Do I have a first baseman? I do have first baseman. That is one position I actually have players at. Uh, first of all, Chili Davis, you're playing as a catcher. Because you're a really good one. Um, I've got some decent center fielders. I really need third base. I could have Tim Raines play third, but I'm not convinced that's what I want to do. I'm not convinced that's the solution to this problem. Um... Hmm... <sighs> I may not have a choice. I mean, someone's got to play third, right? I just don't want to ruin Tim Raines. But maybe I should call him up. I mean, Tim Raines is... Uh, if I was going to call up anyone, I'd call up Chili Davis. Do I let Chili Davis play as a 17-year-old? I am awfully tempted. Because right now I don't have a catcher. 
I can have Harry here start. Maybe Philip Canucci. He's got good speed. He's a mediocre hitter. He plays pretty decent catcher. He's the kind of player that we just need. I just need a catcher. And then maybe Brad Golden. I'll call both of you up. I think both of you just got drafted in 77 too. No, I traded for Golden. And I traded for Canucci. I traded for both of them. Perfect. Uh, thank you, Oakland, for giving me two catchers. Yeah, we're going to need other players, too, but... Ronnie Collins, maybe. If I'm not playing Tim Raines, it might be Ronnie Collins that ends up playing. I'd like him to get one full year in AAA. And then maybe decide, okay, yeah, he's ready for the big leagues. Right. Okay. Let's go. This is not an ideal situation. I don't think anyone would dispute that. Can I finally bump up my budget to like where it needs to be? Can I go to 344? I don't want 1 million. Okay, can that be a thing? It can be a thing. All right, extensions. Is there anyone super young that's going to be part of the next great Blue Jays team? I mean, Tim Raines, but I don't need to worry about him running up the clock. Not really. Yeah, we're going to be unreservedly terrible for at least two or three seasons. We're going to be piling up the number one draft picks. Indians got Willie Stargell. Stargell. Gonna sew up to spring training at this point. What we might do is as we get closer to spring training, like maybe about here, I'm gonna take a look and see if there's other people who want like a one year spring training deal. Hello, Andy Messerschmidt. And John Lowenstein. And Rudy May. And Ken Reynolds. Do I want a Roger Freed? I definitely want Roger Freed, too. <gasps> I remember Roger Freed. And I'll sign Lou Pinella. This is basically just going to be me saying I want everyone to join me in the minor league. And you'll all get spring training deals, which is even better. You might actually make the majors, especially as bad as this team is. This is a weird kind of exciting to me. Um, okay, go ahead and have uh, the bench coach and set up everything here. Oh, wow. R really? Oh, there we go. It couldn't do it because of the... I see. I see. And then you can give me the bench. You can give me the staff and the uh, other thing here. Give me just a week. So I want to see how many of these minor leaguers sign. Yeah, I got most of the people I wanted signed. So you know what? I'm cool with this. 
Oh, do you play in position other than second? You play a bunch of them kind of crappy. There we go. Let's bring in all the clueless veterans. I mean, the wonderful human beings. I mean, the clueless veterans. And see, uh, and see who gets to make the roster. Mm -hmm. Rodney Scott was a good player. I was not prepared to uh, to offer him anything significant. That's bad. Um, I was counting Rick Honeycutt kind of being an important part of this rotation this year. Lost Mark Williams. We're going to put people on the DL once the, uh, once, uh, once we're done with spring training. That should be the first thing we do in the next episode, um, here in a minute. Player development. Uh, Rick Honeycutt actually got worse. Steve Blast got a tiny bit better. Jim Bibby got a little better at control. Tim Raines got pretty much better at everything. It's getting harder and harder to justify keeping him in the minors, but I might try to do it if I can pull it off. Mookie Wilson got better. Jeff Taylor got better. Scott Budner got better. There's some things that happened. They're not entirely awful. Right. So we have built a very motley crew. And just to make the decisions of the next episode easier, let's just go and start sticking people on the DL. Uh, how long are you out for? Two weeks. Oh, you're day to day. Uh, you'll be back in three weeks. You're out for two to three months. You'll be back in one to two weeks. And you're out for one to two weeks. That's not so terrible. We still got decisions to make, which is good. Um, it's important to have interesting decisions to make if you're going to keep the fans interested. Um... But that'll be for next episode. Um, so obviously we have a lot of rebuilding to do. But we've got some interesting parts that I think will turn out to be very beneficial to us. Oh, we want... Why is Rudy May... Huh? Ah, okay. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um... There are one or two interesting pieces to this team, but this is still a team that's probably three seasons away from competing. So we'll see if the owner gives us enough time to do that and enough money. Because they're going to have to slash, slash, slash the shit out of this budget. Um, anyone making more than a hundred grand had basically better be a megastar. Um, so we'll see what happens. But hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe. And Maybe drop me a comment down below. But until next time, this has been Avindian. Thanks for watching, and I bid you good day.